Mohamed Zubair, Professor of Cardiology, Kuwait University, and the President of Kuwait Cardiac Society. Hello, Doctor. How are you? Thank you. Nice I'm to fine. see you this year in Cardio Alex. Uh, yes, I'm happy to be here. Beautiful uh, view <laughs> overlooking the uh, Mediterranean. Uh, okay. Uh, what do you think about Cardio Alex this year, and is it meeting your expectations? Um, it's been a really good meeting. Really good opportunity for networking among physicians from the Middle East and outside. Uh, a great uh, learning opportunity for junior staff to interact with senior staff and get uh, proper uh, training and tips and tricks. So it's been a, a good meeting. And the weather in Alexandria and the hospitality of the uh, Egyptian people. So it's been a great meeting. You're always welcome here. Uh, what did you present this year? Um, I presented a study that we undertook in Kuwait. It's uh, called uh, Reperfuse Kuwait. And um, the idea is that we know that uh, primary PCI is uh, the way to go when you have a patient with ST elevation MI. However, in reality, uh, primary PCI is done uh, at much lower rates than it is in uh, the Western world. And um, so we undertook a study where we looked at our practice in a regist registry fashion and uh, we compared the outcome of, outcome of patients who underwent primary PCI to those who, went, who underwent what we call pharmacoinvasive. That's when they're given thrombolytic therapy and then within 24 hours they go to the cath lab mm -hmm. and uh, interestingly and, and this this has been done in a clinical trial in randomized clinical trial uh, under the acronym stream trial it was published in the New England Journal of Medicine a few years ago but we wanted to test it in a in a registry fashion at the level of uh, everyday practice and um, to the uh, comfort of the uh, investigators, we found that the practice of primary PCI was comparable to pharmacoinvasive therapy, or should I say pharmacoinvasive therapy was comparable to primary PCI in terms of the outcomes, uh, the in-hospital and one-year outcomes mm -hmm. of mortality, uh, heart failure, and stroke. So it's basically... Uh, it deals with the reality of the situation where because of several reasons primary PCI may not be available in a timely fashion. The uh, guideline recommendations is to undertake primary PCI within 120 minutes of uh, symptom uh, onset and if that's not possible or I should say from uh, presentation time and if that's not possible, then what do you do? And so this is uh, one, one avenue that one can take and can lead to a safe outcome. Mm -hmm. So uh, this was the, uh, the, the, the presentation, okay. and it was well received. Okay. What do you expect to see in Kaljarix next year? Um, probably just more uh, advances uh, in, in cardiology field, uh, more on the complex uh, percutaneous procedures like TAVI and mitral valve, tricuspid valve uh, interventional procedures, uh, and uh, more of the good things that are being presented uh, currently. Thanks a lot, Doctor. Uh, you have the honor to be with us this year. Thank you. Thanks.